This hack tip is brought to you by Midphase. Welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down the concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm your host, Darren Kitchen, and today, today we're playing with Wi-Fi. Everything you ever wanted to know about channels and having a little bit of fun with a 2.4 gigahertz spectrum analyzer, Backtrack 5 Linux, and a microwave. But first, it's time for the terms. Now, in terms of Wi-Fi, a channel is merely a band of spectrum. I mean, whether it's A, B, G, or N, the basic idea is that it's a range of frequencies that are allocated to a channel and then separated from their neighbor channels with just a bit, typically just a few megahertz, of what we consider white space. Now, so for example, in the case of 802.11 protocols using the 2.4 gigahertz spectrum, the channel width is 22 megahertz wide. And then each of these channels, or bands, with the exception of channel 14, are separated by five megahertz of unused spectrum. So for instance, channel one, which is centered at 2.412 gigahertz, is, uh, you know, since it's 22 megahertz wide, it begins at exactly 2.400 gigahertz. And then it ends at 2.422 gigahertz. Then channel two, is at 2.417 gigahertz, so it begins just five megahertz past where channel one started. And then this continues every five megahertz with channel three centered at 2.422 gigahertz and so on and so on until, well, channel 14 that is, which has a 12 megahertz spacing. We'll get into that a little bit more. Anyway, as you can see, there's quite a bit of overlap. So the general recommendation is to use channels one, six, 11 and 14 as they're discrete. That is to say that they don't overlap each other. Now, channel availability is actually regulated by country. So here in North America, uh, we're supposed to use channels one through 11, while the rest of the world get channels one through 13, and then Japan is special because, well, they're Japan, so they get all 14 channels. Now, in just a bit, we're going to be breaking out an Ubertooth 1 Backtrack 5, pop in into our Spectrum Analyzer mode, and then we'll be able to see the channels in action. But first, let's take a quick break. Midphase has been providing simple, smart, and reliable web hosting since 2003. It features unlimited disk space and bandwidth with an exclusive discount, six months free for Hack 5 viewers. Midphase provides 24 by 7 premium support by phone, live chat, and email, as well as free website builders and simple installs of WordPress, Drupal, and Joomla. Get an $100 worth of search engine credits from Google and Yahoo. Visit www.midphase.com slash hack5 to get six months free of web hosting through this exclusive Hack 5 offer. Now, I figured as a way to illustrate the actual channels of our 802.11 friends here, it'd be fun to go ahead and use what's called a spectrum analyzer. And we actually have just that here at Hack 5. This right here is the Ubertooth One. It's a device built by Mike Osmond that we actually carry here in our very own Hack Shop. Uh, and it is a development board used for all sorts of fun in the 2.4 gigahertz spectrum, specifically for Bluetooth analysis and maybe even a little bit of fuzzing and a little bit of injection and stuff like that. But we can see the entire 2.4 gigahertz spectrum with one of these. So really, in our case with Wi-Fi, it's going to show us the same kind of thing here. And thankfully, Mike has actually gone ahead and put together a program just for that, which will visually represent exactly what I'm talking about here. So I'm in Backtrack Linux and I'm in my Ubertooth stuff and I've already gotten it all set up. And I see I've got this uh, Python script here that is spec scan UI. So if I actually do Python spec scan UI.py. And like we've talked about here, there's actually a blank area at the end of that. And that right there, those are channels 12, 13, and 14, which we aren't supposed to be using here in the United States. In fact, you can actually see where they dip down. And those are unused channels. From left to right, it's channels one through 14. And if we were, say, deploying a new Wi-Fi network here, we might want to take a look at something like this first to kind of get an idea of what's in the air and where we want to put our access points. Uh, now, I've got the microwave here for a fun little demonstration because you, I know you've been there. You've had that moment where you're like getting your frag on or you're transferring files and all of a sudden the bandwidth goes to crap. And like we talked about the ISM band and how it was for industrial, science, and medical. Well, 
Devices like microwave are designated for those spectrum as well. So while 2.4 gigahertz is great because it's unlicensed and we get to use it for Wi-Fi, we have to share it with this guy. And FCC part 15 says that we're not allowed to interfere with it, but we gotta accept any interference it makes to us. How's that fair? Anyway, I know, I know, I digress. Let's go ahead and start the demo. So I've got it here and you can see the peaks and valleys of the different channels that are being used and aren't. And if I just go ahead and make a burrito, Yeah, no good. If I were to actually do like a, like a packet or a, uh, like a ping over and over and over right now, you'll actually see like the pings will be like really low and then suddenly like spike up really high, maybe even drop packets. So that's just a fun little example of uh, what happens here in the spectrum. And if you guys are interested in Ubertooths, you can find those over at hackshop.com. Okay, but before I get going, it's time for the giveaway. You guys know that last week I asked, what 802.11b channel is only allowed in Japan? And YouTube commenter Mike Pinegar answered, Channel 14 is the 802.11b channel that can only be used in Japan, but only in direct sequence spread spectrum, or DSSS, which is kind of hard to say, mode, and the complementary code keying, or CCK modes. So thanks so much for answering. Look out for a direct message so we can send you our favorite USB radio. Now. This week, what I'd like to know is what 802.11 standard enables high-powered Wi-Fi equipment to operate with license in the United States on the 3.6 gigahertz spectrum? Answer in the comments and be re randomly selected to receive the radio I use here on Hacktip. And as always, we value your feedback and suggestions. If you have a tip to share with us, email me, tips at hack5.org, and be sure to check out our sister show, Hack5, for more great stuff just like this. I'll be there reminding you to trust your technolust. When kids are getting Uber. <laughs>